We live in an environment where food is everywhere. If you walk in the city, and every five meters, your attention is drawn by foods and drinks. I am Brian Buysche. I'm 35 years old, coming from Holland, and I'm a nutritional epidemiologist. I work at the German Institute of Human Nutrition in Potsdam. I'm investigating the role that diet has on the risk of chronic diseases like diabetes, heart attacks and strokes. First you need to collect data, that's very important, so that's why you have to start large studies. If you have a big cohort of people, we can interview them or we can give them a questionnaire and then we get a very detailed picture of what they eat and drink. We mostly depend on what people say they eat and they underreport certain other foods that are socially eh, less desirable to eat, like fatty foods or something. From the same people, we also obtain blood samples. And then we store them. If something interesting appears in science, then we can get back to the blood samples and then measure things in it. So you start with a healthy group of people and then you follow them over time, decades long, and then we see which people are being hit by a heart attack or a stroke. One of the topics I'm working on is uh, the health effects of, uh, of cocoa. Mm -hmm. Cocoa and chocolate might have beneficial effects for, for human health. There are good indications that substances in cocoa are good for blood pressure, so it lowers blood pressure. It improves the elasticity of the blood vessels. I think deep inside people know what is healthy. You see certain people and you think what you are doing with yourself. The rate of obesity is increasing dramatically and it's very worrisome. I like the city where I live. I live in Potsdam. I met here my girlfriend and she's from Spain. It's one of the resting points uh, in the weekends to, to stroll around over the market. Sometimes I even don't buy things, but I just want to be there and see the kind of foods that they're offering. If I have time, I, uh, I'd like to cook myself. I, I wouldn't say that I'm a very good cook, but I try to, uh, I try to do my best. <laughs> I like especially the Italian kitchen and uh, recently also the Spanish kitchen. After having a big meal, the next day I, I try to go for a run to, to counterbalance the excess of calories. It also helps me to empty my, my head after a hard day of work. <laughs>